Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to design monostable multi vibrator using op-amp. Monostable multi vibrator design is one of the important question. It gets repeated in every exam with different values. Okay, so as you know, monostable multi vibrator produces an output pulse when you apply negative trigger pulse. Okay, we have already seen the working in detail. Now the time period of this pulse is 10 milliseconds in the question but in the exam they can give you any value 20 milliseconds 30 milliseconds that doesn't matter steps will remain same you should know just two equations and you are good to solve these types of questions i'm going to cover the derivation in another video this video is just for numericals okay so this is the important equation this is time period of pulse width rc into ln 1 plus r1 upon r2 and if you want to simplify it further, you can assume R1 is equal to R2. So this factor will become 1. So 1 plus 1, it will become 2. So if you find ln of 2 from calculator, you will get 0 0.693. Okay, so your equation becomes 0 0.693 into RC. And if you find out frequency, then it will be inverse of T, 1.44 RC. So for a design question, you will need this equation and this equation R1 equal to R2. Okay. So I have noted down these equations here. So you have to start with the time period formula. Time period is 10 milliseconds. In design questions, you have to assume capacitor value. I am assuming 1 microfarad. So just send this 0 0.693 and C on left hand side. So R will remain alone. So C is 1 microfarad. Put this everything in calculator and R will come out as 14.43 kilo ohms. Okay. So this is your feedback resistor. Now we know C and R. We have to find R1 and R2. So as we used this simplified equation, we must consider R1 equal to R2 now. So let R1 and R2 equal to 10 kilo ohms. Now the last step is you have to draw circuit diagram and waveforms. So this is the monostable multi vibrator. C is 1 microfarad, R is 14.43 kilo ohms, R1 is 10 kilo ohms and R2 is also 10 kilo ohms. Okay. And these are the three waveforms. This is trigger pulse which is applied to monostable multi vibrator. Then this is capacitor voltage and this is output voltage. Okay. Practically your capacitor takes some recovery time to go to 0 0.7 again. Okay. Ideally it was like this. But practically it takes some time. That's why it is curved. Okay. So this is the pulse you got. So with calculated RC, R1 and R2, you will get 10 milliseconds of output pulse. Okay. Now let's solve the second question. Find pulse width T for the following circuit. Now they have given a circuit diagram with all the values, all the components. And now you have to find pulse width. Okay. Now you have to observe carefully. Here R1 and R2 are not equal. So you cannot use the simplified equation that is 0 0.693 RC. Okay. So you have to use this equation. RC ln 1 plus R1 upon R2. Now in many books you will see R2 upon R1 instead of R1 upon R2. It depends on your diagram. If you see my diagram, my R1 is always connected to the ground. And that's why in my equation there is R1 upon R2. Okay, if in some diagrams, in some books, if R2 is connected to the ground, then in their equation it will be R2 upon R1. That's it. So don't get confused. So now you just have to substitute values. Your R is 4.7K. Then C is 1 microfarad. Okay. Then LN1 plus R1 is 10 kilo ohms. And R2 is 15 kilo ohms. Then just put this everything in calculator. And your time period will come out as 2.4 millisecond. Okay. So the pulse width of your output is 2.4 millisecond. So these types of questions are also very common. They can give you circuit diagram and tell you to find out pulse width of output. Okay. Or else they can give you pulse width like we saw in the first question. It was opposite. They have given you the time period of pulse width. 
and you have to design the wall circuit okay so we have covered both the cases so to design monostable multi vibrator you just need these two equations you can take a screenshot of this i will come up with the derivation video of these two equations so that's all for this video i hope you have understood both the numericals if you have liked this video press the like button share this whole playlist with your friends and subscribe to my channel thank you